Hi, I introduced uh, today a bill in Congress that will help to protect the domestic production of energy in this country. Uh, for far too long, uh, the EPA has uh, put rules and regulations out that have significantly impacted, negatively impacted, the production of our domestic uh, energy sources. Uh, it's time that Congress takes back its constitutional authority uh, from the EPA, from the executive branch, to make sure that we're weighing in on these issues. Uh, the, this was all uh, brought forward because of uh, two facilities that closed down, two electric plants that closed down in western Pennsylvania. One in my district, uh, First Energy was required to invest an additional $240 million into a, uh, a coal-fired electric plant in Hatfield, Pennsylvania. Uh, in addition to the 200 or so million they already had just uh, invested, uh, because the EPA uh, changed the rules and increased the, uh, uh, the, the regulations on how, what they were allowed to uh, put out uh, with production and what, what types of uh, regulations they had on them. Uh, so again, First Energy decided uh, to shut that facility down, uh, two facilities, and it's going to cost 380 people their jobs. Uh, that's what's happening directly. Over the long haul, I believe uh, what the EPA is doing, uh, these regulations, is going to drive up the cost of energy. It's going to drive up the cost of electricity uh, if you shut down these coal-fired facilities uh, that are burning very, very clean uh, uh, operations. Uh, this, this facility in, in my district was a super critical with scrubbers, 80% clean burning, uh, one of the cleanest uh, burning facilities in the country, and today it's going to be closed down because of the EPA. And this doesn't just target uh, uh, coal. Uh, the EPA's today it's coal, uh, tomorrow it's going to be the natural gas that we are trying to produce in western and, and northeastern Pennsylvania. That's so important to our economy, uh, creating jobs, uh, creating economic activity, uh, making Pennsylvania once again uh, a, a key state in the economy of the United States. Uh, energy is so important uh, to creating jobs and we're going to see that uh, if we continue to move forward with the production of natural gas and with our production of coal uh, in Pennsylvania. We'll be able to attract those companies that create the jobs that uh, people in Pennsylvania uh, need and, and want. Uh, so again, I believe this bill is going to go a long way. Uh, to slowing down and stopping uh, the EPA from their, their reign of terror as they've had over the past four or five years, especially uh, uh, with the Obama administration, uh, their, their war on coal, uh, their war on oil. And again, uh, it's only a matter of time before natural gas uh, uh, gets into their sites and, uh, and they try to restrict it or regulate it from Washington. We do a great job in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania state government does the, does the right thing with their Department of uh, Environmental Protection in making sure that, that the, the, the environment is clean and protected uh, so we don't need Washington stepping in there and, uh, and causing uh, what I consider tremendous damage uh, to, to the economy of Pennsylvania and to the United States. So again, I'm, I'm proud to introduce this bill today and look forward to moving it through uh, the, the committee process and then onto the floor hopefully this fall, but we'll continue to work hard to make sure that we protect our, our domestic uh, energy production in this, in this country. Thank you very much.